Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back. I know this is gonna come as a shock to you, but today is another palette video. There's just a lot of palettes coming out and I'm trying to keep up. So today's review slash look is gonna be the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette and it comes with eight shades. However, only one is matte, so that kind of sucks, but we're gonna work with it. There is two blue shades, and I know that everybody's super pumped about those, and all the pictures I see, they have the blue shade all over their lid. It's kind of the same thing with the KKW and Mario palette. There was that blue shade in it, and everybody went crazy over it. However, I don't wanna use it all over my lid. I'm gonna use just a little hint of the blue, same thing like I did with my video with the KKW and Mario palette. I used the blue as my eyeliner. I'm not gonna do that today, but I'm gonna do something different, so hold tight. All right, so I'm just gonna get started. So as always, I'm gonna use my Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty, and we're going to lightly go into the shade Daybreak and use that as my transition shade. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go right above it and go into the shade Heat Wave and put it on my upper crease and in my crease. Okay, using that same shade Heat Wave, but my Morphe N321, I am just gonna smudge out the lower lash line. Using my Sonia Kashuk number 106, I'm gonna go into the shade Blaze and just pack it right in the middle of my lid because then I'm gonna put a shade on the two sides. So we're just gonna start with the middle. Now taking my Morphe M433, I'm gonna go into the deepest shade wedge and just pack it on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics number 124 Airbrush Precision Smudger Brush and this is where the blue is finally gonna come into play. I'm gonna use the shade Double Dip and just put it on the inner corner of my eyelid and like softly blend into the middle but, but leaving that middle color still there. See, just a hint of blue, not too crazy. This blue is really pigmented so you have to be careful with it. Okay, something to note, there is a, quite a bit of fallout on my cheeks and in the pan when I dip in but it came right off my cheeks, so no big deal. All right, I'm not sure if I wanna block this look up with some eyeliner. I'm gonna put on some mascara real quick, see if that's enough. If it's not, maybe I'll put on a tiny bit of eyeliner and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I definitely didn't wanna take away from the tiny bit of blue and the different shades with some eyeliner, so I just opted for just mascara. And I totally forgot about my inner corner, so I used my Real Techniques Detailer Brush and the lightest shade Salt, and I just punched a little bit in my inner corners. So this is a really nice palette. I really like the way the colors lay down. However, there was fallout, but I feel like that's just normal anymore. And it is $34 for eight shades, and there is only one matte, so it's kind of up to you what you would rather do. The blue shades in this palette are really pigmented, so you get a lot of payoff. You definitely won't need a lot of product, so it will last you longer. But all in all, once again, another hit from Urban Decay. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go have yourself an awesome day.